Hereford Mappamundi is the largest surviving medieval map of the world. It was created around 1300 for Hereford Cathedral, where it still resides today. This is a map in more than a geographical sense. It is also a compendium of knowledge of religion, history and mythology, indeed of all aspects of God's creation, described in over a thousand inscriptions and almost as many painted scenes and symbols. 700 years of exposure to candle smoke have not been kind to the appearance of the map. In this new reproduction, the grime and discoloration have been carefully cleaned away and original colours have been restored. We are thus brought far closer to the appearance of the medieval original. At first sight, the world depicted in the Mapamundi is unfamiliar. The shapes of the continents are not what we are used to, not helped by the fact that Europe is labelled Africa and vice versa. But if we position ourselves in Jerusalem, at the centre of the map, and look towards Asia at the top, then Africa falls correctly behind us to the right and Europe to the left. And on the very edge of Europe lies Britain, misshapen but recognisable, and within Britain is Hereford, the map's home. Between Europe and Africa is the Mediterranean. Crete, with its labyrinth, and Sicily, with Mount Etna erupting, are clearly recognisable. Many of the most important sites in the Old Testament are shown in the map's upper right-hand section. This trail represents the flight of the Israelites from Egypt, the crossing of the Red Sea, and their wanderings through the desert, as described in the book of Exodus. Here is Mount Sinai, where Moses, identified by his horns, receives the tablets of the law, and to the left of Moses is the golden calf worshipped by the Israelites. The route then passes the Dead Sea, the ruins of Sodom and Gomorrah, here is Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt, before it crosses the River Jordan and reaches Jericho. Many strange creatures, monstrous races and outlandish customs appear on the Hereford world map, especially around the edges of the world. This section depicts Scandinavia. The curious inhabitants of this region include the Grista, who make coverings from the heads of their enemies, and the Kynocephali, or dog-headed people. Below is a man on skis, who may be one of the Giats, the people of the hero Beowulf. The map contains numerous other creatures of legend, such as the salamander and the unicorn, alongside more familiar animals, such as the bear and elephant. Here is one of my favourites, the monoculus, who lives in the desert and has just one very large foot, which he employs as a sunshade. The known world of the map is depicted within a great circle, bounded by oceans. Above this, at the apex, Christ sits in judgment on mankind, with the saved on the left, on Christ's right hand, being led to paradise, and the damned on their way to hell. Just below him, the Virgin Mary, with bared breasts, pleads on behalf of those who have sought her intercession. Thus, the message of the map is made abundantly clear. All our worldly affairs are of little importance compared with the prospect of our soul's immortality.
Thank you.